Here in the northeast of England in December, we wouldn't normally expect to be finding many berries on our hedgerows. But a couple of weeks ago, I went down to my sister-in-law's house down in Kent in the southeast of England, and I discovered that a lot of her rose plants were covered in uh, rose hips, which uh, normally I would expect at this time of year to have been completely eaten by the birds or picked by people like me. So anyway, I nipped out with a bag and picked a whole uh, load of these and what we're going to do now is make rosehip jelly. Into a pan put coarsely chopped apple and then add in your rose hips. Make sure that at least half the contents of the pan are apples because they're going to provide the pectin to make sure that the jelly actually sets. If you're making this in the late summer, what you might want to use is crab apples instead. But anyway, once you've got everything into the pan, you then just need to make sure it's all covered in water. Then put it on the cooker and bring it up to the boil. When it's come up to the boil, turn the heat down and let it simmer for at least a couple of hours. After a couple of hours of simmering away, it should be like this, uh, a wet pulp. Uh, it, the fruit should either have broken up or, like the apples here, be very soft. So this is now ready to be strained. The pulp has now been straining for 24 hours and the liquid is now ready to be measured and that will go back into the jam pan. Once it's come up to the bowl, you then need to add a kilo of sugar for every litre of liquid. After you've added the sugar, bring it back up to the boil, but leave it on a rolling boil until you've reached the setting point. To check that it's reached its setting point, put a dollop of it on a saucer like this, and let it stand for a few moments, and if it forms a skin like that, you know it's ready to go into hot, sterilised jars. Well, here's one of the five jars that I've made. <laughs> it's hot, 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 hot. It's a bit hot. Right, really, it's straight out of the pan. So, five jars that I've made of the rosehip jelly. Now, a little story behind it is that uh, in September last year, I entered my first ever jam competition when I made uh, rosehip jelly. And it was the Wickham and Dunstan Air Training Corps annual garden party and the jam making competition there was judged by the local vicar and um, I won it. So this is definitely one that's worth making.